It's been only a few days since the world of musical theatre lost one of its most acclaimed choreographers. But ever since she left us, Jilin Lin has been remembered with the same love and admiration of that of a long lost friend. Born into a non artistic family during the mid 20s, Lin's passion for dance arose at a very early age, beginning a career that would span for over seven decades and would make history all along the way. After struggling at school for quite some time, Jillian's mother decided to take her to a clinic to find out what was happening. Suspecting what was going on, the doctor had a quick idea to check it out. He turned the radio on and left Jillian alone so he could talk to her mother in private. Just a few seconds later, they would find young Jillian was moving to the sound of music. The answer was very simple. That child was born to dance. Once she enrolled in a dance school, it would not take long until Gillian would become a theatre sensation. She would have her first major opportunity on her 20th birthday, when she performed as a leading dancer in the Royal Opera House production of Sleeping Beauty. Not too later on, she would become a western hit, acclaimed for her work as a dancer in many shows. But the world's true recognition was yet to come, and it would not do so until her 50s, when composer Andrew Lloyd Webber asked her to collaborate on a new musical he was developing, by then already called Webber's Folly. With only five weeks to rehearse, Gillian was able to choreograph even the slightest movement of the best-known dance musical on the planet, a work she took particular pride in for combining almost all styles of dance with the movements of cats. A few years later, she would walk again with Kim Midas of musical theatre, this time to bring the most haunting love story back to the London stage. Since it opened in 1986, the mask ball and ballet steps have not stopped delighting both London and Broadway's audiences every night. With one of the most successful dancing careers in history, Lin's work has been awarded almost since day one, and it would not stop even when she turned 90. A member of the Order of the British Empire, one of her most recent acknowledgements came this very year when the new London Theatre, the place where her most famous creation came to life, changed its name for hers. Always unwilling to retire, Lynn kept collaborating and revising her previous works almost until the end of her days. The theatre community will miss one of their greatest colleagues, but her footsteps will always remain on every stage she was on. Thank you.